I don't know. I think I'm live. Using OBS to stream is a little bit weird. Oh, crud. So anyway, welcome. Uh, probably as you've seen the thumbnail. Uh, this is what we're going to be working on. I'm just quickly trying to jump into my live stream. Come on. Um, so yeah, we're going to try and build this. So obviously I used Midjourney, the latest version, version 4 of Midjourney. And uh, it's, looking, it's looking pretty schmick. Like Midjourney's come a long way. How the heck do I get to this thing? Oh, there we go. That's the control room. All right. Bear with me for a sec. I just got to change up some settings. Turn that on, please. Yes, thank you. Um, and then down the bottom, I just got to throw in some tags because it sucks. There we go. Welcome. All right. So, what? Yeah. Let's do stuff. Libby, welcome. Um, I'm just going to quickly throw this over into my Discord as well, just to bring some people in. And we'll do this and throw it into here at your know, YouTube videos at everyone. I have gone live. Control V. Uh, yeah, sit now. 608 people. Cool. <laughs> Dan, welcome. Mad Mouse Content, how you doing, buddy? Germany. Germany. Niemachki. Welcome. So, let's have a look. Whoops. Alt R, Alt G, rotate X, 90 degrees. If I press N, do I have too many add ons? I sure do. Do I have screencast keys? Here we go. What's going to happen? Show last operator. Are you gonna are you gonna do it? Oop, there we go. All right. There we go. All right, let's go. Uh, so this is the scene. Mister Emerge, welcome from Norway. I don't. Stephen Scott, my goodness, everyone's coming out of the woodwork. So hey, fellas. <laughs> sorry, buddy. I look. I it's it's a rule now. I'm sorry. Okay, unknown 3D, welcome, Lux, well, oh my goodness, Marco, start doing some stuff, okay. What I'm going to actually try and do is use a tool. Um, if I go into here, actually if I go into here, I'll show you which tool I'm about to use and we'll see if it works. I'm actually intrigued to know, yeah, 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 shut up, go over there. Uh, we will be using this tool. And Guten Morgen. From Canva. Oh. <laughs> Idiot. Mr. Maguire, welcome. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to try and use is Perspective Plotter if I've actually got it installed. Uh, plating generator. Nope. 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 No. Wait. No. I got to set up the camera. Whoops. Select the camera. Come into here. Uh, background image. Oh, jeez, I haven't used it for a while. I'm rusty. Uh, that one. Into the viewport. All right. Perspective plotter has opened somewhere. Uh, come on, 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 come on. Perspective plotter. Here we go. Uh, background unmatched. We'll click on that. All right. Uh, let's go with opacity. We'll just increase that just so we can see what we're doing. Hide that for a sec, come back into this. Perspective plotter. I wonder if this is gonna work. Now you have to remember we're using mid journey at the moment. So technically the lines shouldn't be straight. But I'll be oops, this one. But I'll be like pretty intrigued if it does. Uh, I'm gonna guess that's straight. Kind of like that. And then with this green line, let's grab that edge. And that goes there. This one goes here. And then that one kind of goes there. I don't know. It looks legit. So let's go ahead. Um, I think. Oh, that's the center point. So this is my ground plane just down here. First thing I'm going to do is let's throw in a cube. And I mean, it semi looks okay. Actually, we'll delete the back face. 
Ah. Delete vertices. All right, let's kind of go like so. G to the Z. And we're just gonna move this around. So something like that. This is such a clean image. Um, let's now go, I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna go E to extrude Z. And then let's go down E, Z down like that. Select these two, E to extrude scale along the X axis. Oh gosh, I'm trying to work out where that goes. So that goes about there. This one here keeps going. That means this one here can go that way. But what we'll do is we'll go Control B, round that off. Uh, what have we got here? Why is that not beveling properly? I oh, know it is. So something like that. Yes, yeah, so that's what it looks like. And then you can see we've got just a ton of pipes. Marco, next time, get a brighter image. Um, so we're just going to block this out now. Let's just, I don't know, whoops. Let's just see what happens, eh? I'm going to select this section in here. Mm, how's this going to work? Something like that. E to extrude Z. And then we've kind of got that. This bit here, I don't like. But I mean, at the end of the day, what model did you use to generate that? I used uh, V4. Uh, what was the actual command, Mr. Smiley? I don't know. Let's have a check it out. What am I doing? Mid journey. So let's jump over in mid journey. So I think it's this one here. Sci fi engine on a spaceship. That's it. And this is what mid journey 4 is doing creating this kind of pizzazzle. Um, I was contemplating in trying to make this one here, but that might be a future one. I think I might be doing streams. I might do uh, Fortnite bi-weekly streams. I reckon, I reckon that'll be the way to go. But uh, this is obviously going to be kind of like adding to our asset library. So that's what we're going to go for. All right, so from here, let's go Shift A. I'm going to add in uh, that thing. What's it called? Cylinder. There we go, something like that. And yeah, so this is the problem of using perspective plotter, because at the end of the day, it's not a real image. It's actually a fake image. Herp a derp. Um, so it's not going to line up in terms of correct, uh, 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 what do you call it? Perspectives? Yeah, I guess we'll call it that. All right, so that's cool. I'm happy with that. And then we've got this really cool, nice piece up here. Um, the way though, when using perspective plotter, you kind of, kind of use just one mesh and constantly extrude from there because I can throw in a plane here, but it's not necessarily gonna fit um, in terms of like the, where this is. So that's just something to keep in mind. So I'm going to kind of just guesstimate and just start putting in pieces as we kind of go along. And then just kind of like roughly where I think they go. All right, so let's go about there. And we're just going to slowly build up the scene. Well, that's actually not too bad. Cool beans. Let's go ahead and grab this piece. I What I might do is I'm just going to V to rip that. Control LP, separate by selection. So that's now an individual piece. Let's, I feel that I could probably go back a bit here. Uh, let's delete that back face. And then I'm just gonna go E to extrude along the X axis. There we go. And then maybe what we'll do, put an edge loop through there. Let's select this and this, delete vertices. Shift S cursor to selected, right click, set that origin to be at the 3D cursor, because now what I can do is set a mirror modifier. Now, and then now we've got that. So when we go ahead and add those pieces in, um, is there an advantage using perspective plotter versus X F spy? Perspective plotter is in Blender. That's it. I know F spy used to be in Blender, once upon a time, many, many moons ago, 
but the fact that it's just in Blender, I don't have to transfer between uh, programs, makes life a lot easier. You know, if you, you get lazy. <laughs> Uh, let's just extrude that on the Y a little bit. And let me just have a look. F and, whoops, and F. Get stuffed. Uh-oh. Right, let's make sure that's a solid. Lovely. All right, let's come back into here. And then we're just going to kind of start. Um, we can see that we've got a screen here. But here we have... Stop it. GG. We've kind of got a hole. So let's knock that hole out here. And we go E to extrude. And then this is where we can kind of come in and start adding in greebles and such. Um, down here, looks like that's sitting on top. Um, but we will notch it out anyway. Purely for the fact that it does look like there is a notch. Um, hmm. What's the best way here? There we go. E to extrude. Something like that. All right. So this is what we got. You idiot. You forgot to turn on clipping. And that's going to cause problems. So let's just quickly fix up my mistakes. And we're going to merge by distance. Zero vertices. Lovely jubblies. Make sure you stay hydrated. That's what Modest Pelican has taught us. Um, what am I doing? So from here, we'll probably come back and start adding in all these little greebly bits. But for now, let's just continue on like so. Um, let's grab that and that. I will notch this out, I reckon. Let's notch it out. So that, that, that. Delete. Voices. And we'll press F, F, F. Cool. Oh, that looks nice. And so I'm finding that it's really good just to use it as inspiration. Obviously, we're not, not going to follow it um, piece by piece. But it is going to give me ideas on how to kind of build it out. Leo, welcome. All right. So these... Marco, focus on the one piece. No, actually... Let's, 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 let's build this one out. Control LP, separate by selection. And then I'm going to edge loop, oops, GG. Edge loop that puppy. <sighs> that looks like Tauruses. Let's maybe do that. Let's go Control L, Shift S, cursor to selected. And then from here, we're going to go into, oh, my back. Um, not into my back. That'd be a little bit weird. Let's go into a torus. Let's do a rotation along the... Nope. On the X, 90 degrees. Let's go into solid mode. And the exterior radius, radius is not changing. Suck a lemon. Let's do that again. Uh, shift A. Mesh. Taurus, 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 that thing. Uh, rotation on the Y, 90. Suck a lemon, 90. Major radius, there we go. Something like that. What the heck? Why have you, why are you twisted? Zero. There we go. And the minor rate. Or not. Holding shift, we can move slowly. There we go. So we've got some rings like that. That's what I was after. Let's go G to the Y. And we're going to place that. Ooh. Maybe not. Okay, let's go a little bit smaller on the minor radius. Something like that. Yeah, beautiful. There we go. Shift D. Something like that. Shift E. Shift E. Bam. And we will copy this. Shift D to the Y. And we'll dump that about there-ish, I reckon. And then we can see that we've got a nice little plate here. What's the best way of doing that? Let's go... 
something like this and then we'll put an edge loop about here-ish and then I'm going to select that shift s cursor to selected let's add in a cube okay let's scale that on the x Prop it, plop it out scale on the y-axis uh, by the looks of it we had control B about here-ish like that G to the Y scale Y nice uh, the intention is is depending on how we go we might actually try and get this into Omniverse to render it out okay let's go something like that there's a little hatch here I mean we can always come back and you know polish this off hey hey shift the D G to the Y X scale scale on the Y hey who's been watching the latest Star Wars Andor 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 control ah here's a trick so control shift B will bevel vertices in case you didn't know that so I learned that one from Josh Gambrell E to extrude something like that delete faces and then I might just do an inset scale on let's just scale a a a a scale on the Y G Y E to extrude just we got something like that cool it's a little bit of overkill on the geometry but that's fine by me period key scale on the X nice uh, let's just do shade smooth on everything and you can see that it looks like yuck but if we come over into that thing in Bob and auto smooth bam so now we've got those hard edges we'll do that on these as well let me just join these rings together and we'll go with that control J to join let's go shade smooth again oh suck a lemon oh that's right E no Shift E, no, Control E, Shift Q, Control Q. Ugh. Oh, right click, there we go. Shade Auto Smooth, you can do that now. So Rex, welcome. C-Rex, yeah, C-Rex. Nice. I'm pretty chuffed with how that looks. Um, yar, yar, that's, it be good. And then here we can see that it kind of goes in. It actually semi looks like, if we kind of come into here, it's almost as if it goes in about there. Let's delete this edge face. I'm gonna select this, E to extrude, scale, shift X, whoops, shift Y. So it's not gonna scale along the Y axis and I just wanna bring that in. So we've got that now. That's kind of cool. And then we've got these floating ringamabobs now. Uh, maybe what we'll do is, have you tried to use USD from Blender to... Oh, <laughs> have I? Constantly. It, it works really well. So one of the things, I'll just quickly show you. One of the things that I have been working on is... Um, sci-fi textures uh, and that is from let me just quickly bring that one up this one yeah yeah uh, from here so I've been using this material pack and I spoke with Z legendary mark Kings North and he's like hey do it and then send me textures and I'm like heck yeah I'll send you textures buddy so if I go into textures mark them 3d so what I've done is I've started to like create these kind of like sci-fi panel textures. Um, I did this just before the live stream um, and I'll put these up on the Patreon. So if you guys are Patreon members, you get these in the pack. Um, but if we kind of grab this, let me go control C. If I go open Blender, let's open up the Dreadnought, which, you know, for those of you who have been around for a while, welcome if you haven't subscribe um hey steam's on how about we turn off steam go away uh anything else of interest no. 
So if we have a look at this ship, so we know this ship quite well. Um, let's go Control V now, and then I'm just going to select everything. Let's just go full screen, please. Shift left, whoops, select everything. Shift left click on that, and then we go Material, Copy Material to Selected. It's a little bit white. Um, but that's something we could obviously change. Probably the scale we could probably change as well. So let's jump over into shading. Why am I doing this now? Marco, you've got other things to do. That way? Or 0.5. Yar. Yar. There we go. Um, yeah. So if we come into that now. Like, I mean, we just bulk applied it to the ship, but you can see how nice it looks. Where's the film? Let's go 0.2. And I mean, you can just see how much extra detail, and that was just that one texture. Obviously, we could use, uh, like, the other materials as well, and then go from there as well. Uh, why not? Let's just do that while we're here. Let's grab um, this one here. Control-C. What am I doing? Going to the other one. Control V. G. Move you out of the way. Let's grab some of these pieces. There we go. And then if we do over into materials, copy material to selected. Yeah, that looks all right. Ah. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> so, I'm probably going to start primarily using these textures quite a bit now. As well, if you actually use the actual textures. Um, so, if we come into layout um, and we go into the asset browser just quickly. What about asset browser? Come on, Marco. Uh, asset Browser, <laughs> Marking 3D, Materials, Kings North, uh, which ones? Uh, that one there is, oh, this is a good one. Yeah, let's go with that. Select everything, copy material to selected. So this one here has obviously got like the dirt pass as well. So nice. Good job. But yeah. So that's cool. Alright, let's get back. Let's get back to what we we're working on. Just wanted to quickly show you that. That's the sci-fi textures. Alright, let's go back into here. Don't do it. Okay. Um, so we can see we've got some kind of like wah, vents or something kind of coming through here. Yeah, that's not bad. What we might do, ah, there seems like there's another plate behind this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that. Shift D, P, separate by selection. And we're just going to focus on this. Um, let's grab these pieces here. There we go. Control I to invert my selection, delete faces. All right. Let's now go scale on the Y axis. Um, I want to, let's do this. Control B, something like that. I'm going to select these edges now. Control B. And then we're going to go GG. Actually, do both. GG. And we'll do this as well. GG. And then we'll do my favorite thing. We'll select these two. Control B to do a bevel. And then we can grab all this section. Scale on the Y axis. All right, nice. So now when we jump over into this, we go into the solidify modifier, and now we've got kind of like a plate that's sitting on top. Sick. If we actually have a look, face orientation, we can see everything is facing the wrong way. So let's select everything, and we'll go Shift N. Shift N. What the heck? Control L, Shift, bloop, Shift N. Anyway, whatever. Go suck a lemon. Um, and then we'll do offset of zero. Maybe we'll give that a little bit more of a thickness. 
and then this is kind of like how we can go around creating those um that extra love i guess uh zeng Jima. nice according to google translate okay <laughs> thanks the musica the music hopefully it's not too loud i just need something uh to listen to because uh you know when you're talking to yourself for two hours mm. All right, G to the Y. I'm just bringing these closer. I feel that those ones should be closer. Um, and then from here, I don't know. We'll work that out in a sec. Let's, I will keep that. I do like that. Let's come back into the image. Oops, there we go. Um, we can see that there's a bit of a cap over the top here. So let's go ahead and maybe fill that out. What I'm gonna do is Come into this mode, and we'll grab some of these pieces. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. And deselect those pieces, please. Cool beneens, beneens. New word. And we will do that. Uh, let's go Control L H. I just want to hide that, and I'm going to grab these pieces here. User can go away. Alt S something like so let's do my favorite thing gg control b control b again uh can i do gg gg nice gg what hey gg no don't stop it no okay go that way weird nice all right so that's kind of cool um let's i reckon what else could we do i think definitely this piece and this piece we'll think about for future so let's go control p separate by selection and where is the origin for this piece over there that's no good to me so let's go shift s cursor to ugh. let's select this ring here shift s cursor to selected and then if I go right click set origin to 3d cursor now it's on the center of the engine from here we can go into add modifier and mirror modifier and we put it like that let's do the same thing here suck a lemon right click set origin 3d cursor let's then go into mirror modifier and then you can see how we're building up the other side as well a noise a noise um i am thinking oops what i reckon we might do is there's some pipage and all that we'll come back into that let's cheat we know how much i love to cheat control s save don't forget from here let's do this i'm going to draw pipes let's go into a bezier curve tab select everything delete those vertices whilst in edit mode from here, I'm going to click on Draw, uh, up into Tools, on the surface, mm, Offset, let's go like that. And then if I kind of draw a line, mer. Okay, whatever. I'll do it manually. I've never, I've never been able to get that offset working nicely. Whatevs. All right. So from here, what we can do is I'm just going to draw a line through there. Okay. Then we can come into the bevel options, activate spline, no geometry. And then we can give it some depth. And then I'm just going to go G to the X and move it out a smidgen. And we'll go G to the Y and push it in a bit. Um, and then we can come back in and kind of like just start refining where that pipe actually goes. But let's do another one. Ooh. Oh, it's, oh, right. Okay. So give it some depth first and then draw. Up a dub. Okay, so that's fine. 
Um, so let's try... Yeah, that's nice. GY, put that in. Um, let's just go into edit mode and I'm just gonna just pull that one out a little bit. Okay, beautiful. Then since we've done that, for some reason I'm upside down, but whatevs. Uh, since I've done that, I can go into a mirror modifier and now we've got it on the other side. From here, what we can do. <laughs> Shift A, let's add in another curve. Tab into edit mode, delete everything into the Bezier by the looks of it. And we'll go 0.3 into the draw tool. Make sure drawing on the surface, noise. There we go. Uh, uh, okay, where am I going to go with this one? Ooh, that's a funny duddy. There we go. Oh no, you clown. That's fine. Whatevs. Whatevs. And from here, something like that. Just thinking lazy tradesmen. Can't do pipes properly. There we go. And you can see we are literally just drawing onto that sphere. Uh, cylinder and then this is kind of like how we're doing Musa welcome uh, no. stream at 3 a.m. when I'm about to sleep sorry mate it is quarter past 10 at the moment here so if that's a consolation prize uh, G to the X G to the Y and we'll just push that all the way in and hopefully we don't have any pipes which are jerks doesn't look like it, which is grouse. Oops. Uh, ugh. Oh. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let's just put that one in there. Nice. Let's now jump over into the mirror butterfly. Done. Ah, my scene's upside down. Oh, well. <laughs> we'll live with it. ever so slightly annoying so let's go ahead grab that let's go to the 3d cursor rotate rotate y 180 shift d rotate y 180 beautiful put that back in place alt h uh why am i in blue mode go away nice I think we might do the same here. Rotate Y 180. Rotate Y 100 and... Rotate. Huh. Why aren't you rotating? Have I locked something? Ugh, oh, idiot. No. Ah. <laughs> what ifs? There we go. Problem solved. So now when we're looking at it, we can see that we've got all our pipes coming in. Um, this mechanism where kind of the the, the o-ring let's just call it that let's build that next and so what i'm actually going to do is select this v to rip control l uh, g to the y so to me this pipe is wrong it should be much mm, Okay, how's this gonna work? So if I go G, X, G, Y. Darn it. 
Ah, dang it. Ah, whatevs. We will use... Um, what do you call it? Creative freedom on this one. Let's go scale. Um, from here, I'm going to go control L. Let's do I, I, Captain Bird's eye, E to extrude. I'm going to grab that circle and that circle, E to extrude along the Y axis. And then from here, F. No. If I do control F, will grid fill work? Suck a lemon. Control F. I don't even know what beautiful face this was. Control F. I don't know. I don't know. Marco can't think of it right now. Cool. And then, oops, F. Brrr, done. So that's what we kind of have right now. Uh, did you model the whole scene? So this is mid journey here. This image. Uh, if I go select everything and H. Nope. Select everything, control I, H. So I used mid journey to create the concept art and then now we're kind of going over it and just recreating it I guess okay whoa lots of questions I like your sound effects I like the elephant <laughs> uh, what's the pipe tool is it new no that's the Bezier curve uh, it's been around since donkey's years just drawing on the surface I've been I know right so I don't know if you haven't subscribed yet but uh, yeah, that's one of the little short videos that I've done. Um, how does one get to understand a Blender UI difficult? Every UI is difficult. I tell you this now. Oh, control E, bridge. Okay, cool, thanks. Uh, yeah, once you start playing around with it, you, you learn your workflows and whatever works best for you is my opinion. Um, so yeah, work on that. I know what you mean. I'll learn a future curve, so yeah. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> nice, great. Yeah, I turned them on. Kind of forgot. From Poland, welcome. Mm, I don't know what hello in Poland is. Dobro. Uh, do you guys use Dobro? I don't know. Anyway, let's continue on. Welcome. All right, so. I'm going to leave this tube for a little bit. It's looking nice. I think we could probably come in and add some little features like control B to do a bevel. And then we can come in and do something like that. Scale. Nah. Just to kind of break out, break up that um, smoothness. But this is where we can come in and probably just create some more of these panels. How are you going to model that weird curd shape top? Green some chili. Chili, 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 chili. I don't know what Halloween chili is. Chilean. Uh, as I go deep in, I forgot what I was. <laughs> okay, so how am I going to model this thing? Kind of, it does look like a sphere with one side flattened. I mean, it could even be a tank. And it's kind of like a tank is sitting there and then that's what's feeding into this tube here. How'd you do these pipes? Uh, I'll show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, pipe. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll show you. Okay, how do I did those pipes? Control V. There we go. That video. Um. Yeah, interesting. How I'm gonna do that? What's this? What's this blue thing? Oh, is that a light? It's actually the image. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. I think we might come back to that one. I do have an idea on how I'm gonna do it. Let's go delete faces. Um. Hmm. Interesting. Let's go solidify modifier. I'm just gonna do something like that. Let's go shade smooth. No, right click, shade auto smooth, suck a lemon. And then from here, go control B to do a bevel. I can't do a bevel because 
it's I haven't applied the solidifier. Nice. And then we can see that we've got like a whole bunch of little panels in here. And so with that, we could probably go edge loop, edge loop, put an edge loop through here, something like that. Let's go this shift D P separate by selection. And I'll grab that. Um, let's go G to the Y. I'm just going to pull it out a little bit. Period key to zoom in. Uh, let's put an edge loop through there, delete vertices. Let's grab these, control B to do a bevel, delete faces. This doesn't be to be so thick. Let's go G to the Y. Um, let's do my favorite thing. There we go, like that and like that. Scale on the X, noise, and then we'll do it the same, but up here. I really could go for a burger right about now. Um, nice. Look at that. But with this one, I'm going to do something different. G to the Z. It's going to be something like that. And then we can see that it's just kind of like breaking up that silhouette, which is what we're after. Let's move that down. Chase. Ah. But I was like, yeah. I know, we all get busy. <laughs> uh, make sure even thickness is enabled. Yar, let's do that. Bon. It shouldn't be too bad on oh, the curve. Actually, what does that curve look like? Curve looks sick. Um, I don't think Broadburger would be open this late. I don't think so either. And I doubt they would deliver all the way here. Okay, so that's looking nice. There was this little piece, which I really... Hey, hey. Stop it. The uh, W, W, W. There we go. Shift D, G, Z. Oh, Shift D, Z, E to extrude. Control L, P, separate by selection. Grab that one, remove that. And this is going to be kind of like this little grill piece that we have here. So let's build that up real quick and then we'll just make an array out of it G to the Y um, let's maybe go scale on the X so we have something like that let's do I to do an inset E to extrude along the Y axis let's grab that mm, don't need to never mind and we'll go scale on the X, something like that. Now what we can do is throw that into an array modifier. Okay, something like that. Mm. Let's go E to extrude straight down. Control L, G, Y. Move that to the back. E, Z, move that up. Nice. Cool. And that gives us those little air vents that we just saw. Is the Horde animation, uh, Horde add-on any good? It's not too bad. I don't know why I've got it open. <laughs> um, it's pretty good for doing those really big scenes. Um, i got to work out a way to... It'd be good if I could have more interactions and change the animations a little bit more. Um, so it's going to be really good to see how that add-on develops. Um, but for now, I'll be using a mixture of that and also Character Creator 4's thingamabob. What's it? The low poly characters. I can't. I don't know what they. Are. I can't remember what they're called right now. Uh, Marky Mark, welcome. No worries, Philip. Uh, I do food prep, so I never don't have 10 giant deluxe frozen burritos. Uh, have you ever messed around with the normal maps? Nah, I haven't. Mm, I probably should, but not as much. Actor core. Well done. You know what I'm thinking. Uh, I would say wait till the animation works well. Geo nodes. Unless, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, did you do live streams daily? No, so. I will probably start doing on this time Thursday nights as well. Um, 
Or maybe even Friday nights, I don't know. But yeah, Margot, okay. do you feel that you began make work for AI and I didn't even ask? <laughs> what? Do you feel that you began make work for AI and AI didn't ask you for that? I have what? Do I? I abuse it, I guess. <laughs> Video man, welcome. All right, so um, what we might do is actually start working on some of these dial pieces. So let's start off with that. So from here, Shift S cursor to selected. I oh, actually I can just do this. Uh, s s there we go something like that turn clipping back on e to extrude control l let's yeah my entire scene's upside down i didn't check before i started building which is very clever marco um, but that was because we use perspective pl plotter add-on to start all that all right beautiful let's from here let's go shift d rotate there we go scale something like that scale scale on the y-axis uh this is a little bit frustrating delete faces okay push you in like so there we go and we're just kind of building up that section there And then we can see that we've got kind of like, it's, it's like a whole bunch of tape decks or something right there. Um, let's go shift S cursor to selected. And I'm going to build that up. Let's go, let's go something like this. G to the Y, G Y. And so it's kind of like, as if, oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, do we, okay, let's, hmm. Just thinking what's the best way to do this. Shift D, Y, I'm gonna do that. Let's come in and select these top bits. Control B to do a bevel and we'll do that, okay. From here, I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna scale that in. Let's go like so. Right click. Mm. Maybe we'll use some creative freedoms like that. Control L I to do an inset. Do that, delete vertices. And then we can select, ah, uh, suck 11. Nope, still gotta do it. Okay, and then we'll select all this. Um, but yeah, I, look, mid journey is the bee's knees now. I mean, it always has been, but just. Pfft. Okay, so what we're gonna do is rather than um, creating, I don't know, it was kind of like so as it looks like 16 or maybe a bit more I'm just going to go ahead and create just a few random panels ah let's try let's try this add on uh, shut your pie hole uh, so we're going to use this add on now see if we can kind of smash this out a little bit will it work I don't know right click sub mm. let's go control LP just focus on the one hey stop and let's go right click subdivide uh, shift Q there we go we're gonna go random panels Shift Q, random panels. Uh, 
I'm going to do more cuts. I want to get rid of the bevel. Oh, the back. Okay, something. Maybe like that. Panel size 0.5. Let's go 0.25. Whoop. 0.01. 0.5. What the heck? Hmm. Uh, control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Hey. I don't like the cut of your jib, buddy. <sighs> he broke it. Okay, so that's the inset. Let's go something like that. Uh, inset, bevel, height, inset. Now there's one that's kind of like max height. Here we go. So we've got something like that. Yeah, nice. I'm down with that. And then let's just, yeah, let's do that for the rest. So from here, I'm going to go this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Separate by selection. Let's grab this one first. Uh, Shift Q. Random panels. Do I have a triangulate option? There it is. Uh, oh yeah, you donkey. Hang on. Start again. Subdivide. Subdivide. Shift Q. Random panels. Shift Q. Random panels. Uh, number, beautiful. Let's just change that around. Something like that. How's that looking? Lovely jubblies. Love it. Beautiful. Perfect. All right. What do we got? Normal mats would be great. Stuff like that. Tubes. Yeah, completely agree. I really should look into that some more. Uh, I don't know why. I've got a fear of it. Um, from here as well, what we can do is... Select these back ones, right, uh, shift Q. Let's go tubes. Uh, yes. Okay, okay. I need to make them smaller. There we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's add some more. Cool beans. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bevel offset. There we go. A little bit of beveling in there. Lovely. Segments. Mm, let's not give it too many segments. Something like that. Triangulate. Man, I don't need to. There we go. Something like that. Nice. That's not bad. So from here, let's do something similar. Shift Q. Um, what does this do? I don't know. Oh, wait, idiot. Nope, stop. Select that, subdivide, subdivide. Um, the thing about AI is that it doesn't necessarily make design with purpose. Yeah, absolutely. If it's a prop in a show, you would have to adapt it and explain why. Yeah. Uh, welcome back. Everything is over. Sirkin, welcome. Uh, it's over. He can be blind. <laughs> Windows 95. <laughs> Dude, I grew up on that. Welfare Ninja. <laughs> Welcome. Oh my goodness. Are you an Australian welfare? <laughs> Let me know, buddy. <coughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, let's go back. Shift Q. Hey, what the? Shift Q. Let's do random panel. Shift Q. Let's do random panels again. This time, the depth is going to be much less... The panel size is going to be much bigger. Uh, less panels. Triangulate Xenon. Something like that. Um, bevels. I don't know. It's fine by me. Maybe what if we don't? Yeah, okay. Let's give cuts. 
clear interfaces height. Yeah, I like that. We have it like that. Beautiful. I'm going to keep it as is. So now what the intention is to do is let's kind of go ahead and maybe select some of these faces. go something like that something like that and something like that and we'll create two materials new and this is going to be light underscore orange uh, I don't know what else whoops okay caps lock on caps lock light underscore orange oh gosh so funny this is a funny little bug with blender if you're in caps lock and you type the exact same thing Never mind. <laughs> Don't ask. Anyway, let's go like sorry. Sorry, let's go into principal shader emission. And then we'll do something. I want an orange light. Let's go assign. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, ding dong. Yeah, beautiful. And then on these panels here. We're going to select some random panels. That one there looks grouse. This one here and that there. And we'll go plus plus, orange light. Let's duplicate it and it'll be light underscore blue. Bump, 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 about there. So now if we go assign and we go into rendered view, we are in Eevee. Let's go into ambient inclusion and bloom. Um, let's maybe jump over into these materials and let's go five. And then we'll go five as well here. Nice. From here, I'm going to grab all these pieces. Where's the origin for this? Up there. Go away. Uh, let's deselect that and that and then that way we can go g y push that back and then we've kind of got this here if we jump over into rendered view we can see that how now we've kind of like built up that panel okay um is that add-on called random panels no it is called well it's this add-on here Okay, uh, we are, as I guess, all companies these days looking for at digital twins. As far as I understood, you are a fan of Omniverse, but any thoughts about Omniverse versus Unreal for digital twins? <sighs> Interesting question. Now, um, I'm... <clears throat> The question is what's taken into consideration. Is it for commercial purposes or is it for, you know, funsy purposes? I think commercially wise, I think Omniverse is going to take that and run with it um, because then at the end of the day, you could throw all the AI stuff that they've got behind it. The graphics cards, and this is the main reason why I jumped over to Omniverse, is you've got a bunch, all the new graphics cards, all the RTX graphics cards are specifically, Omniverse is specifically designed to run on those graphics cards where Blender and everything else, you know, it's not Nvidia. I mean, it'll be close. The results will be up there, but it's not gonna be the same. Um, so that's kind of the way I look at it is that if MGO creations, if Nvidia have their own product, I'm pretty sure it's, their products are going to be optimized to be used with their products. So that's why I'm kind of looking at it. Um, in terms of Unreal Engine, it's like, don't get me wrong, it is still magical. Um, in terms of digital twins at the moment, I'm more using Omniverse for VR digital twins. And that's purely because I can do it. I mean, I got a new laptop. <laughs> so, cool thing about being an influencer, HP sent me a laptop. Freaking sick. Beep, beep, 
<laughs> so there's a video coming out about that laptop, which is almost as good as this computer, which is frustrating. But anyway, what else? Um, what else? But yeah, I'm going to stick with Omniverse. Um, I'm pretty much constantly... Thank you very much, buddy. I am constantly... Um, in communication with NVIDIA at the moment. I'm like, this isn't working, this isn't working, it'd be good if this worked. And it's really good to see the feedback, uh, the crud that I'm suggesting that it's being implemented. Um, one of the big things that I was I recommended is that you can't tell when you're in camera mode. So what they ended up doing is they ended up creating a way to lock the camera so you can't move it. Brilliant. It sucks. That was, yeah. MTO Creations, thank you very much, buddy. Appreciate it. Are you on my Discord? Send me a message. Do it. Uh, I really like the way broadcast. I'm learning a lot. Excellent. Delightful. You're a newbie. Keep at it, good sir, is my recommendation. Just keep going. Okay, let's have a look. So we've got whatever the heck this thing is. I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm trying to work out what this is. I mean, this bit here looks pretty good. Um, maybe what we'll do is let's kind of just create the environment quickly. Uh, oh, G. And what I'm going to do is go G, Y, X, something like that. Let's go E to extrude along the Z axis. Uh, uh, let's go maybe a delete vertices. Let's go like this. Something like that. I reckon the building is going to be about that tall. Can I select this face here? E to extrude, and it's about there-ish. G, Y, X, about here-ish. Let's keep going a little bit higher. G, Z. G, Y, X. Something like that. And then we can grab these back faces. Let's go G to the Y. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks like a washer dryer setup. That's actually not a bad idea. I do like how you're thinking about that. <laughs> Alright, let's go this way. Uh, let me just quickly suck all that. Where is it? Is it in the camera yet? GY. There we go. Alright, the brilliant thing about AI. Uh, there we go. Okay. Sorry, let me just quickly... I was going to put some edge loops in. Ugh. Come on. One. Two. Three. Four. Why am I counting? I don't know. Something like that. And then we'll put an edge loop around like that. Let's put an edge loop there-ish. 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 And then I reckon something like that whoops so let's grab all these one two three four five six whoops whoa, whoa, whoa. mark 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 stop stop bam 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 p separate by selection so these are my windows um i'm just gonna hide them for now and then with this i'm gonna go ahead and add in a slit of modifier and we'll go zero. What the Higabotham? Is that is that right? Yeah, nice. 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 Okay. Uh yeah. What do we do with all the waste heat from the engine tubes? Man. It goes that way. You need to <laughs> straight clothes. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> That is actually quite clever. 
driving along, put the washing in the car. Um, so, what was I going to do? So, for instance, now, if we go control S, save, save. Don't forget to save, Marco, because you keep forgetting to save. Let's go away, go away. Let's jump into world, and we're going to go into a sky texture, dump that one into there, in dump that one into there, like so. Um, oop, do I not have a floor? I oh, know, the floor's there. She said, "Yeah, let's do that. Hey. Okay, let's do that. Actually, you know what? That worked out really well. Let's do that. And then we've kind of got that step there. I'm gonna grab all this and GZ. That's not bad. Let's make sure that that is in the ground. Noise." Um, if we go into rendered mode, EV cycles, GPU, I'm sorry, computer. Um, uh, where is the sun? Let's rotate that around. Yeah, I don't know where the sun is. Let's put a cube just on top. Uh, we will bring down the fist, point 0.2, just for now. I still can't work out where the sun is. What the heck? Oh, God. Let's try this. Uh, Shift S cursor selected. Rotate Y 180. Control A. I'm just trying to work out what's going to be the best way to do this. Because if I go rotate. Control A. Apply transformations. I hate you. Control A, apply rotation, rotate Y, but it's not around the individual point. Oh wait, yes it is. All right, we'll do it like this. Uh, empty cube scale. Why aren't you? Oh. Am I doing something? Losing the plot here. Control P, parent to object, rotate X, Y one hundred and eight. There we go. Whatevs. All right. So now, we've and I, I'm just going to close and reopen Blender. It is uh, just yes. Save it, please. Let's go back. Anyway, okay. Let's go back to chat while that's loading. Uh, let's feed my dude. When in doubt, parent. Yes. What's happening to your Blender? Yeah. I, uh, engine bay. Engine bay blend. Yeah. There we go. What have I done? G works, R doesn't. When in doubt, open a new Blender scene. 
select all, delete, control V. Done. Sorted. Uh, so, yeah, let's leave it at that. Okay. Full screen. File, save as. I don't know. Blender just had a heart attack. Let's go into this. Uh, EV cycles, please. GPU, 32, 128, control S, shading. Sorry about that. There we go. So, uh, yeah, when in doubt, just open up a blend set, another blend file and just copy everything across. And tell Blender to go suck a lemon. All right. Uh, from here, we come into that thing, point two. And now I've got a shadow. Oh my goodness, it's so much better. Rotation. I want rotation to be like that. So when I click in here, oh yeah. <clears throat> That's nice there. That's a good looking panel. Denoise, please. So obviously because we're missing a lot of light, we've got this problem. Oh. Yes, yeah, sweet. It's all there. Uh, let's fix up the camera. Why camera did you do that? Let's go back into layouts. Ah, oh, that's why. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. And um, let's go back into solid mode. Let's find our perspective plotter, background. There we go. Lovely. Nice, that's looking good. I'm very happy with how that piece there looks. This bit here, the washer dryer section, we'll work on that one in a sec. Um, but if we come into here, what I will do is I'm just gonna hide that and hide that because I don't need it. Um, ooh, that's a nice little texture there, that's cool. So with this, I don't know how to do this, I've forgotten. Let's go shift D P separate by selection. I think I'm gonna to have to go back and watch one of my old tutorials. <laughs> Cause I keep forgetting how to do this stuff. Let's go like that. Control B to do a bevel, E to extrude, Alt S, and we'll bring that in like so. Let's put two edge loops, an edge loop through here and an edge loop through there. And we'll make sure we delete the top and bottom, delete faces. Um, right click set origin to geometry let's go alt g to put that back in its place alt g what the control a apply transformation or don't um if i do control p a clear apparent this button here Relations, empty. There we go, beautiful. So from here, let's go ahead and add in a curve, a bezier uh, curve, the bezier, you know, the wee wee. We're gonna go something like that. And then we're gonna go something like this. Something like that, okay. Come on, Marco, you can do this. Don't look stupid. There's a good chance you will though. Scale X, zero. Okay, so modifier. We need curve modifier. I think curve needs to go second. And then we put an array, which we can go fixed. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So I think we need to put that one there. Yes. Okay, we're cooking with gas. No, no. No, no. Uh, when in doubt, rotate X 90 degrees. Rotate Z 90 degrees. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, good enough, what else? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's go scale that in. Actually, we might just scale it. There we go. And then we just kind of create that fixed account. Select the curve. Nice.
Beautiful. Excellent. All right. Whoa. Jeez, I missed a little chat. Also, Nvidia drink bottle. Sick. <laughs> uh, on the noise viewpoint, uh, I think the option. Maybe I can do something like that. The big thing. Old H did say, uh, uh, "Can you please turn on the thing?" It shows all the buttons. Oh, yes. Sorry, because we opened up a new blend file. There we go. Sweet. All right. Nice. So I want to select both of these. One, one, one. There we go. And then from here, we're going to go Shift D. Let's go something like that. And then this one can kind of go through there. G, Y. Nice. Excellent. Uh, I got a feeling these probably should be a little bit bigger. All right, let's do it like that. Nice. Oh yeah, that's mm, spicy. Okay, let's find my Bezier curve. And we'll just kind of like put it in a little bit of a better position. Something like that. And something like that. Let's get the other one. Something like that. And we'll go something like that. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, let's now bring the amount of these back, please. Thank you. But I need that Bezier curve to go back a little bit. Nice. There we go. So as you can see, we just quickly created that. That's, that's not too bad. That's not shabby. Transform option, I don't know where. What? It's a sphere. Ah! Ah. It's right. We fixed it. We broke the wrist and walked away. Let's do this, this. Hmm. How are we feeling about that? I do want to work all on this bit. Let's kind of, you know what? Let's just kind of continue blocking it. Uh, we've got a nice sphere here. There seems to be some sort of... Actually, let's just build this up. Let's do that. Ah! Itchy nose. Oh, look at this roof. Oh, that looks grouse. Alright, we'll come back to that. Let's have a look at this pipe here. Just want to grab that face. Shift D, X, P, separate by selection. I want to grab this. And it's going to be something like that. And then I'll come into the side view. Shift right click to set the 3D cursor. And then we select our spin tool, which is one of my favorite tools ever created. And then we'll just extrude that in. Something like that. I know it doesn't actually go that way. Oh, that's what those are. They're kind of like bendy bits. Right. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. GG. Control B. Delete face. Control B. Delete face. Oops. Delete face. And then we will do here. Control B. E to extrude. Alt S. Scale on Z. And then we'll do it probably here as well. Select that edge. Delete face. Nice. All right. So what we can do from here. Hmm. I'm going to delete these two. Delete face. Select this. Control, Control L. Scale that in a little bit. Scale on the Z. And then I'm going to dump in a solidifier modifier. Noise. Shift N. Just fix that up. Yeah, cool. 
And now that's given our pipe some thickness. Right click, set autos. Nice. Let's do the same. What the? That, that, and that. And that's coming along. Nice. Uh, one of those pipes is still way too long. Is it? Is it though? Yeah, it is. There we go. Um, there is a piece here that I like. And I think if we kind of go into edge mode, I like this piece here. And I reckon that kind of connects up into that one. Um, but we'll fix that up a little bit later. Let's just go Alt H just so I can see whereabouts we are in the building because we might as well try and actually attach stuff to the top of the building. That's cool. Yeah, that looks not too bad. Okay, so we do have this. I've got a feeling, I've got a bit of an inkling that this is gonna be one of those days. This is a show all about me and all the things I do and all the things I see. I got a feeling it's a mm, it's an old Australian show. Uh, give me a like if you know what it is. Hey, and how many likes do we have? Sixty. I tell you what. If how many people we got? If we get up to a hundred likes, let's give away six uh, kit bashing sets. Let me just log in. I'm just going to quickly create a coupon. Let's get a hundred likes going, and we'll do a free giveaway. Um, that one. I really like this key bashing set. It's good. No, you donkey. You got to click on that, and then you click on that. And then you click on share. No. Then you click on checkout, and then we go add a discount code. Um, percent is a hundred, and we'll say seven. There we go. Save. Okay share I think it's that uh, finish off in 6 2 yeah okay all right 100 likes let's do it anyway uh, let me just put that into my notepad file control V awesome okay uh, coffee nice looks something like we call an expansion joint yeah that's what I'm thinking as well it is uh, so what I was just going to do is kind of just create some rings and just kind of like bevel up. I think that's the way it's going to be. The art is made by an AI artist that was trained by using art that now uses artists and making art in a gone full circle. Yeah. How long have I been using Blender for? Oh my goodness, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, look, it's it's been a while. Let's just go with that. Shift DPs. We are talking years now. I am getting old. Actually, how old am I? 38. There we go. Uh, I uh, recently had a birthday, so ole. Let's go control B, E, scale shift Z, scale Z. No, 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 no. Individual origins, please. Scale Z. And then what I'm going to do. No, 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 Marco. No, 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 undo, undo. We are going to do this. I'm just trying to think what's the best way to create this. Because it needs to be actually let's just do this delete vertices delete faces e to extrude scale and then we go like this control b to do a bevel and we have something like that control l actually we'll delete these inside loops Control L, Shift D. Actually, what we will do, I'm getting there. It's all right. It's going to make sense in a sec. Um, o for proportional editing, scale on the Z. Um, we've got that on. Let's kind of 
something like that. Perfect. Oh, that's what I'm after. Scale Z. Shift D. Shift D. And then that's now given our, those kind of like bendy parts. Happy blated <laughs> Everyone likes... Mr. Beast is watching. Yeah. <laughs> Can you make a house or the drunken clam? Peter would love it. Do you know what? That's actually not a bad idea. Maybe I should do that. That's... I'm actually really happy how that turned out. Right clicks. What I smooth. I want to move this back. I mean, you know what? I actually... That's not a bad idea. Maybe remake Family Guy stuff. But I mean... Mm, is Family Guy still that prevalent? Prominent? Is it still doing what it needs to do? If you know what I mean. I don't know, I haven't watched it in years. And I'm talking like... <laughs> um... I almost want to say like 16 years. No. Family Guy can't be that old. Is it old? Is it that old? Gosh. Okay, that's not bad. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. Uh, maybe you can merge the model by distance and give that connected feel. Hmm, yeah. Um, I'm not a burnout. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I've lost the plot. Um, so yeah, let's carry on. Let's keep going, keep going, come on. We're around 74 likes. I'll still give away. I've got seven kit bashing sets ready to go. Just do it. Okay, let's come down into here. Select that. E to extrude. Shift Y. I'm going to go something like that. And then from here, we're going to do this. Control B. Uh, whoops, control, control B, control B, scale, shift Y, bring that up, and then we will do that, and we'll do a countersink, something like that, and then we can see that we've got this cool little piece on top, mm, what's the best way of doing it, let's do like that shift s cursor to selected put a cylinder p separate by selection get staffed why ah uh right click set origin to 3d cursor set origin to 3d cursor yeah i got an idea for this piece something like that and then from here we do e to extrude e to extrude Control B. Make it a bit of a domesies. Metal grates on the floor. You could have some pipes going through the gaps. Yes, let's do that. Uh, see. So, <laughs> I don't know what's going on there now. Um, Alright, so, and then from here, it kind of looks like this section here is just a whole bunch of fans in it. So let's do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to press I to do an inset. Do another I to do an inset. Let's go into individual origins. E to extrude. And then we're going to... Nope. We're going to go... Rotate. And let's then now go into the medium point and rotate again. I think I rotated that around a little bit too much. Let's go back into the... Oh, individual origins. There we go. Like so. T 
delete faces. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go shift right click. I'm going to put in just a small little point light in here. Something like that, something like that. Uh, it might even be worth just putting in a cylinder. Oops, Alt H. And then this can kind of give us a bit of a blue light. Blue light disco. That's cool. That looks nice. Uh, maybe let's go ahead and do this. Actually, we'll do it here. E to extrude, scale. And then I want to do just an ever so slightly little blue line in there. Plus, plus. Blue light assign. Right click, auto smooth, control S and save. Oh! <sighs> Got trouble to mess with me. God, I don't know what's going on. Uh, let's do. Whoops, let's. Having a break, let's just go ahead and kind of just start creating some greebly bits. Oops. Delete faces. And then we'll do one here as well. Nice. And then obviously if we come in and we throw a bevel modifier on it, that'll just make it look a little bit more legit. Delete faces. Ah, uh, yeah. That actually looks quite nice. Okay, from here, auto smooth that puppy. Um, let's go ahead and maybe put in something like that. Then we can grab these here, E to extrude. Select that edge there, delete edge loops. Oh my goodness. Mm. Okay, there we go. Uh, from here, oops, shift S, cursor to selected, cubesies, something, maybe something like that, uh, and then let's grab this and this scale on the, nope, that's not what I wanted, I wanted this, and this, nope, this scale on the Z. Something like that. Um, what we can do as well is if I select this whole area, let's do a B, Control B to do a bevel. I actually am going to go Shift D. Shift D. Let's go Scale, E to extrude, Alt S. Something like that, and then from here, Control L P, separate by selection. We're going to grab that mm, mm. maybe let's do shift s cursor to selected i'm going to grab a cube scale on the y scale on the x scale on the z i'm going to have something like that okay and then we're going to add in a no we're going to add in a cylinder. Something like this. Oops, can't see. G to the X. Something like that. Hey, stop it. Uh, scale shift Z, bring that in. I think I made it a little too big. And we're going to go put that all the way down. Uh, from here, Shift S, cursor to selected. Shift A, let's go ahead and we will throw in a cylinder. And then I'm going to make this a Allen key head. Something like that. Nice. Control L. Shift D to the X. 
so we have that now. Uh, if we could, let's maybe split these here. Control, actually maybe we should split everything in here. Nice, nice, nice. Control B. E to extrude, Alt S. And now it looks like that we've got that stuff clamped on. Obviously we haven't thrown on, oh, a bevel modifier. Right click, auto shoot, um, and then this here, we can go shift D to the Y. There we go. Um, we could even go shift D and put one in here. How can I do this? Just mm, control L needs to be in the center. Okay, shift S cursor to selected. Right click, set origin to geometry. Oh! Right click, set origin 3D cursor. I had a brain fart. And then we can increase it like so. And now we've got this kind of, which we can't really see. But we could probably bring it to something like that. And then we grab these two. Got to grab that one and our light. You, sir? You, hey, you. Nice. Okay, uh, Alt H. Let's do, you know what, let's just do a quick rendery McRendrend while I read chat. Can you explain the shade smooth? I'm a newbie and wondering, yep, sure. Okay. Oh, far, I'm getting old. Okay, so we're using shade smooth. So obviously, you know, if we've got a sphere, we can still see the edges of the sphere where when you put shade smooth, it kind of shades those edges smooth rather than at nine degrees. Jeez, that's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, uh, I need a drink. Okay. Um, so yeah, let me, I'll just quickly, I'll explain it to you. So for instance, if I go shift A, we go mesh. Let's go into a cylinder. That's a, that's a bad example of that cylinder. Let's go mesh cylinder and we'll go back into the 32. GZ. So as you can see, it's flat sided. If I go search shade smooth, you can see how it's smooth, but it's smoothed the um, main edges. Where we, then we click on the green triangle here over the right hand side, go into normals, and then go into auto smooth. So anything greater than the 30 degrees, it'll make that hard edge. So obviously if I drop that right down, yeah, capiche? Edge split, no way. No, 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 no. Edge split. Ugh. Ugh. No, 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 no. Don't use edge split. Edge split. Edge split will create a lot more geometry. So for instance, here, you can see that we've got one piece with a whole bunch of vertices. If I edge split this, these it'll become like this delete oops delete faces so i'll still have this plate with all these vertices but then this this piece here will have all these vertices they're just sitting on top of each other so no i would not be using using edge split look at this let burn <laughs> that was uh me not knowing how to carry a tray of hot food Okay, so I am I'm really liking that. That render was grouse. Uh, in some cheap how use it for redeem all hearts, so yeah. 
Yeah, there we go. See, you learn something every day. Um, let's go ahead. Um, I am semi thinking that Shift S cursor to selected. Let's go ahead and add in a UV sphere. And we're going to plop it in something like that. Let's go E to extrude. Oh, jeez. Shade smooth. Oops, right click. Shade auto smooth. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, what else we got? <sighs> this thing here. Oh, I haven't even done this main piece yet. Let's, okay, let's, come on, Marco, just focus. Let's make this a little bit. Shift D, P, separate by selection. There we go. Okay, let's go. Something like this. <laughs> the boys are... Uh, like rocket leaguing uh i'll send them the stats okay so let's go e to extrude um let's do an i to do an inset bring that in um let's go shift d scale let's go like that e to extrude control l scale on the z something like that and so what this is going to be is a kill switch H uh, that's a, a little bit too extreme scale scale on the Y get stuffed let's go rotate um, let's select that face shift s cursed selected let's add in a cylinder got the mirror modifier on let's turn that off for a quick hot sec rotate on the y nine degrees so something like this turn on that mirror modifier oops x delete my cooler needs its kill switch i can't i'm stuck in the hard diamond mto um do you play on australian servers out of curiosity just uh, ask him for a friend. Because <laughs> uh, there's a good chance you might hate me. Alright, cool. Okay, so from here there were some really cool lights that I really liked. Let's go... Actually, no, let's do this edge. Shift S, cursor selected. Let's go something like that. Oops. Uh, P separate by selection. Something like that. And we're going to go edge loop. GZ. What? Why? Dude. 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 Um, Cad, I don't know if you're still here. But would you like to explain... Yeah, thank you. That's... Uh, I have one job. And my job is to demo. So that's why I'm asking... Far out. That's why I'm asking, have you actually played... I'm not liking this piece at all. Go away. Let's go back to... This piece here should be a lot smaller. Bumper cars. I'm trying to work out what is this? So it seems so it seems like there's a screen here. And then it's kind of like this this bubble. Gosh dang it. 
What are we on? We're on 90 likes. Hey, come on. Uh, 10 more, and then I'll give away 7 Kibash sets. And also, MTO, please uh, message me on Discord. Danke schön. Let's select that. V to rip. G to the X. GX.1. GX.1 minus. F. F. I've been in an Australian server a few times. I demo back. <laughs> MTO. Let me just say my goal at the moment is to hit the 30,000 demos in 4,000 games. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I've had some of the best insults. Uh, I hope you get Ross River Fever. Um, I hope you die cancer. Yeah, just stuff like that's great. So yeah, my average, my average demoing is uh, 7.39 per game. So yeah. Dude, it's, it is glorious. It is glorious when I do that stuff. Um, Mad Mouse content, welcome. I don't know what uh, you're spewing about, buddy. <laughs> uh, could be a panel of lights up showing. Yeah. <coughs> so that's what I'm kind of thinking this bit is. So I'm just going to kind of build it as like that. That was that was fantastic English there, Marco. Well done. Oh my goodness, control B. So it's almost like a fuse-ish. Nice. I think that'll work out well. And then let's create two materials and we'll create a white light emission. Actually, no, it's just going to be ever so slightly yellow. Five. Um, definitely on the materials, probably when we go ahead and actually create the image, um, I'll probably put in some afterglow around it. Oh, one more like. All right, let's go. One more like. And then uh, I'll dump it in. One more like. I just got to press enter. I just got to press enter. There we go. Bam. Done. Let's go assign on that one. And auto smooth. Did I actually assign that material? Assign. Uh, you will become light white. Uh, GX. GX.1. Shift D. GX.2 to the. GX.2 to the minus. Let's just make sure. Yes, yeah, sweet. I don't have anything there. Uh, let's go like that. I'm just going to quickly grab this. I to do an inset. I again. Scale on the Z. And then we'll grab this, 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 this. G to the Z. Um, I think definitely we need an extra piece in here. So let's kind of just go something like that. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 it's uh, pretty good. I've used my kibash. Yeah, I use it quite a bit as well. Okay, let's go like this. E to extrude, scale, shift Z. I don't know, should I? Because I wouldn't mind streaming more often, but I don't know if there's going to be much value in streaming so often. I mean, other people do it. And I'm not going to go to Twitch because it means I have to start again. Because uh, converting... Mm, nope, don't do that. Yeah, because converting... 
audiences to come across as a pain. So that's why I did try Twitch and it just didn't work. Mind you, I do watch people on Twitch. So, Mad Mouse content, no worries. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I think we need something else just here. Um, but yeah, I, I think, I think Thursday, I will probably do another stream. Um, cause I don't know, like, do you guys like the streams? I don't know. I don't know. Like, I mean, I gotta, like, let's, let me, let me just quick show you. Whoops. Uh, so I'll quickly show you. Like, I mean, it's been fairly consistent at 79, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, people coming here and there. Um, I mean, that's not too bad. So, but yeah, mid-journey, midway. That's clever. What am I to do with this keep bashing set? You can make things with it. So, normally what you can do is just, rah, you can just use it to slap pieces together. Um, and then you create cool stuff. So that's what I be, that's what I kind of do, and I'll show you an example. Do I still have it open? Hang on, what's this? Delete. If I go Control S, let's save that one. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you. Nice cube. All right, let's have a look. So the dreadnought. This is what we all know. So this is all parts from the kit bashing set. Uh, I think this is mainly. Number two. This is Kit Bash number two. So, Yar. Yar. Barklar. Uh, let's have a look. How does that fare out? Yeah, that's not bad. All right, let's go. Control S to save. What do I do to render? Let's press F12. And I'm just going to get a drink. I'll be right back. Now, for those of you who are interested, um, all all my keep bashing sets, all my project files that I do on live streams, they always go up on Patreon. Oh, that looks good. That worked out so well. Uh, but yeah, they all go up on Patreon. So if you want to download them, you can. This will be up eventually. I think I might continue this one on, on Thursday and kind of keep going. Um, the other thing is for a stream as well, I wouldn't mind trying to make a short film live from scratch obviously i've got a lot of tools now you know i've got the mocap suit i've got um i clone i've got character creator you know all that jazz omniverse and blah 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 so that's what i'm thinking yeah but this is coming together so nice this bit here looks pretty good this bit here that we were working on looks nice um once we start throwing in some grungy textures, I reckon that'll add quite a bit to it. I'm really glad I put this cube in here. In the actual concept, hey. In the actual concept, you can see that that's kind of like a laneway. I don't think we need that. Um, I'm really happy how it does and it turns off there. Mm. I'm pretty chuffed with how that turned out. It's looking good. Wait until you start throwing on some materials. Heck yeah, I like the stream, but the issue is that, yeah, I can't stream during the day because I work. <laughs> so, uh, where is this render? Uh, are you allowed to make a model out of it that is going to get used in a game and sell it, or is it just priving money? Huh? I. Technically, I'm just using it as concept art, so I'm not fully um, copying it. I'm just using it as inspiration because, you know, this whole area here is wrong. This area here is wrong. I do like this, though. That looks sick. 
I wonder what it looks like. Now, nah, stuff it. Screw Eevee. Um, let's go ahead and quickly do a little bit on the ground. Let's go Alt H. Alt H. And I'm just going to quickly mark this out. So if I do that, and then we do this, uh, make sure we do even thickness. There we go. Where does that end? Oh, okay, so that's the building there. All right, so let's go Control I hide, and then we're just going to focus on creating this area in here. So we've marked out where the floor is going to be. Um, and what we might do now, let's go control, oops, let's do, let's do control B. And I don't want to have any of that selected. We're going to go shift D P separate by selection. Uh, G X one. I just want to move that over for a G X five. I'm just going to move that over for a select second. And then what we're going to do is delete these faces and we still have this piece now. All right. So from here I can delete that solidify modifier. Let's select all this. I to do that. Um, let's go ahead and add in a few more and then we can go select around the edge control I to invert our selections I to do an inset I to do another inset let's now do control B to do a bevel middle mouse up control numpad minus I hate you okay like that like that like that like that, like that. Nope. Oh, crud. I think I stuffed something up. Did I do an extra click here somewhere? No! Floppers. Hang on. No, no, I stuffed up. Okay. Let's go. That edge. So I want to grab this and these are going to be kind of like our um, little grates, but I'm not going to bother. I do. I really should start working with normals more. I should, I think, I can't remember who said that. Um, because obviously that's going to save me a lot of geometry. So that's um, dealing with trim, trim sheets. Um, I was investigating on how to create them and all that jazz a while back. I know that Chip Walters has an add-on for it. There we go. How's that look? So there we go. So we've kind of got this kind of plating stuff. Oh, geez. Let's come back. Uh, I usually paid, I think... Yeah, it's something to get... Oh, okay. Ah, oh, okay. That's what we're referring to. If you like me, uh, mm. yeah, I it's not perfect modeling, um, how, but in saying it, I use it pretty much for everything. <laughs> Even though I shouldn't, I know, shut your pie hole, but I do. GX minus five. Okay, so if I come into here, how does that look? All right, let's bring it up a smidgen. Nice. And then this will allow me to in here. We've kind of got this whole section. Let's go Alt H to unhide everything. And we don't really see much, but we can move the camera. Hmm. So yeah, that's gonna be interesting. I do like the square though. If anything, I would move it back to about here-ish. But anyway, let's, um, maybe we'll fill out this section here. What's this business? Um, hmm. Of Rogue One Star Destroyer, there's a number of 2D planes of Creepers flying off. 
That's funny. Okay. Um, pff, let's go here. Let's just create. Um, Oops. Hey. No. Let's go something like this. Uh, period key. Let's hide this building. And then I'm going to grab this. G to the Y. Let's go I. Uh, and then I'll probably end up tearing this apart. Because, I mean, there's some really nice pieces in here. Like, once this is completed. You know, we've got this piece. We've got this piece in here as well. Um, but yeah, that'll probably all end up in the next kit bashing set amongst everything else that goes in it. Um, and I do have, uh, one inspiring artist helping me on that one, which is good. So if I go like that, nice. Okay. And then let's go like this. Control B, my favorite thing. Control B again. Let's grab that face in there. G to the X. Ah, uh, yeah. Going back to what we were talking about earlier, I wouldn't mind, yeah, making a short film all on the fly. I reckon that'll be probably a cool video. I mean, that'll be a cool live stream. It's just, oh man, it's sometimes so hard coming up with ideas. Um, but luckily enough, I was watching the Instagram reels and it came up with a great little, uh, idea for a short film. Um, however, I just got to get, I got to try and work something out to see if I can bake an animation in a specific way. And then that should be fine. Okay. So from here, I'm going to add that one, uh, two materials. You're going to be our, the white light and a sign. Do I want white or do I want a yellow or blue? Oh, maybe blue. And then that'll kind of mix in with that one. Alt H. Oops. Okay, let's push these forward a little bit. What the heck? There is a box there. Where is it? Where is she? Hang on. Where's... Is there a wall somewhere? Am I missing a wall? Yeah, there we go. Stop being a jerk. Ah! Okay, let's check that out. Oh, jeez, let's go back. Why? Where is? Oh, there it is. <laughs> mm, yeah, I don't like that light. I think if it was if it was able to glow, that'd be much better. So, like, if we were to go, just go Control S, jump over into EV, it will look like crud because of the sky texture. Uh, but if we kind of delete that, uh, where's my sun? What's that? There we go. Shift A, let's add in a sun. And we'll ro rotate that on the Z axis. And we come into Nyar. Uh, ambient bloom. So kind of like once we have all that working in there, I reckon it'll look much nicer. Just having to squeeze this quickly. Where's my light? You're my light. Uh, 0.01. And then it would be kind of good if I remember, I got to remember to take these lights off. Light area J to the Z. And we could even go something orangey. Pff, 
Två? I mean... Uh, let's save that, hang on. Just before I break this scene. Uh, let's go into shading. Back into object, object selected. Um, delete. <sighs> Volume scatter. The heck is that? Oh, I'm back. Ah. I just need to put some crud in the air. Oops. It's going to be like. And then, yeah. How would you add dust particles in the air? So, the way you can do it... I've lost all my bloom, how annoying. So the way you could do it is by... Um, putting in like a... Noise... No, not a noise texture. Um... And then go into a color ramp. And then we bring that in. Scale this to like 5,000. And technically... I'm just trying to f see if we can see it. There we go. So obviously now you've got different values. But you want particles, you want splotches. Mm. I don't know, I ever think about that. I know, I know Felicia White was here, she's got something. Actually, let me just quickly check my library let me check my library 3d stuff 3d assets it's not there it's a library folder library folder here we go okay uh fills files dust okay this is the one and it's got crud in and i want dust Control C, Control V, let's go into this, there you go, uh, I don't have an answer for you, I think it's a shader, is it a shader? Nope. What is it? Surely not. <laughs> it's just a particle system. <laughs> and so now if we kind of went F12. Yeah, it's uh, all those particles are a little bit too big. Is it a geometry node? Oh, it's geometry nodes. Oh, far out. Uh, ah, and these are all animated as well. Point uh, one. Yeah, so they're all animated as well. So if you actually have the animation, uh, I made it a bit too small. And obviously we can increase the scale. Um, point two five. 
I know, I gotta learn geo nodes, but I don't want to. I can't be stuffed. Anyway, that's not bad. Cool. Anyway, let's just delete that one for now. And where is my that? Actually, <gasps> control Z. Let's check in cycles what that is like. I'm sorry, computer. I know I'm going to hurt you. Okay. Oh, that's an empty. Where's there it is. Point O two. Point O five. F twelve. Oh, Frozza, welcome, mate. Oh, how many likes we on? One hundred and twelve. I'm back. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Hang on, what happened? I think it's because of the particle system. I mean, it's because of... No, hang on. No, because... Um... Uh, let me, I don't want to render this or that. Um, it is because I don't have sky texture. Sky texture. Dang it. I've got to rotate it around again. Uh, in that way. There it is. Oh. That's hot. Hot. <laughs> wow. So, that's, that's spicy. Um, so, it is from that. Yep. Oh man, throw on some materials and look at that. Jeez. Definitely these lights need to be increased. But anyway. What are we gonna do? What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna leave it at there. Actually I'm gonna re-render that because I'm gonna put that on the Instagram as well. So hey, follow me on Instagram. Instagram. What am I? Slash Mark on 3D. Do that. Jump over there. Um I do have Patreon. I have Discord. I'm trying to be more active on there. Um, I do have... What else do I have? I've got the Patreons where this file will eventually come up. Um, these textures, before I go to bed, I'm going to get these textures up on Patreon as well. Um, and these are all the sci-fi panels. And at the start of the stream, I kind of showed you how they work. My Discord is here. However, if you want a Discord that is super, super active, that is awesome, check out Felicia Wyatt's and make sure you tell her that I sent you just to annoy her. So the top one there is mine, and then the bottom one there is Felicia's. Uh, you need a YouTube, but for still art, I swear. <laughs> Rohit, welcome. So, yeah, like I said, these files all will be available. Oh, my book! Um... But yeah, I gotta get more into animations. Um, let me, I'll show you, I'll show you something that I've been working on. So let me just quickly uh, save that. I just wanna make sure I'm out of everything. So this is a sneak preak, okay? Sneak preak. This is a sneak peek of what's coming up. Um, if I open up create, I don't know if it'll work because I've got everything running at the moment. But, uh, MTO, if you're still here, ping me on Discord, please. Um, this is what I'm currently working on. 
I'm still waiting for the new graphics card to come in. Uh, I can't see chat. Why have I hidden chat? There we go. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Cool. Thank you. All right. So I will show you what I've been working on. But I found bugs, and this is stuff that I have to report back to NVIDIA. Uh, Xmas balls. So this, it kind of works okay now. That is not working at all. Okay, extensions. Oh, fuck, I keep forgetting what it's called. Cache? Local cache, no, flat cache. They're gonna turn that one off. Now I can press play. And so this is what I'm kind of mucking around with. Anyway. So yeah, my computer is screaming out in pain at the moment. You'll probably hear it. Um, so I've only got a 3080. Um, but the new graphics card is an A6000. Anyway, it's over here. Oh. Oh, look at the baby. <laughs> So that's, uh, I'm just missing a cable for it because, okay, stop. Um, yeah, because it's only got like an eight pin, eight pin connector. Um, but what it does is it takes the two eight pin connectors and converts it to 12 volts and that's what you get. So, oh, my back. <clears throat> but. I will be back on Thursday. And if the streaming keeps going well and we keep getting views like this, maybe I'll just stream some more. So yeah. Anyway, thank you very much, guys. Am I going to jump on to a... I'm going to jump on my Discord. So if you want to come and say hi, I'll probably be here for like 10, 15 minutes. And then um, I'll depart and have a bit of a sleep or something. <laughs> So I'll see you soon over on my Discord. Thank you very much, guys. Arrivederci.